Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy and in today's video I'm gonna be pushing top ladder and I'm around like top 20 in the world right now So yeah, hopefully we can push as high as possible in this video So it looks like we playing against smog right here. This guy normally plays with expo rocket But looks like he's playing with the princess deck right now So I'm guessing he just plays with princess instead of the expo because yeah, that expo deck is basically the same deck as the princess cycle deck the only difference is that one deck has the expo and the other deck has the princess besides that it's exactly the same so i go for my skeletons here to maybe keep my knight alive so i can like have my knight tank for the goblin barrel for like a small moment so let's see what he does against my goblin barrel right here i'll go for my princess already because i don't think he expected okay what is that princess doing bro <laughs> that was about to shoot but then decided it's not going to shoot so i go for my evil skeletons here actually and he doesn't have the lock like nowhere in cycles so okay i'll go for my e-spirit he has the e-spirit back in cycle now too but he doesn't have any elixir right yeah he goes for the e-spirit at one but Look at the evil skellies. No way they survived. <laughs> he missed the lock. No. He choked. <laughs> he sold, bro. How do you miss the lock, man? <laughs> I guess he was spamming the lock when he had like one elixir. So, um, yeah, he tried to get the lock down as fast as possible. But when he finally got the lock down, the evil skellies were already at the back of his tower. So, I guess that's why he choked. So, GG's. Very nice fast first game. And I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against Salyan and guys this guy is a lock bait player and I think this should be like a mirror matchup because yesterday I checked Royal API and I was like looking at all the lock bait players in the top 200 and he was one of them and he was like the only lock bait player in the top 200 that is using like the same deck that I'm using so I'm wondering like if he saw that I'm top 10 in the world with that yesterday and then he decided to like copy the deck or if he was playing it already before that because it's kind of like a popular classic log bait deck but most people that are playing classic log bait are playing like a little bit of a different variation than the one that i'm playing right here and he is also playing it so i'll go for my goblin barrel because he might log wait no way he actually logged the princess man that's so bad for him because he's gonna be taking so much damage now and i can just go for my evil skeletons onto the goblins i could yeah i could have log predicted the princess to be honest but wait look at the one evil skeleton okay Man, that was so close. Like, if the princess didn't splash all of them, then he could have been in big trouble right there, to be honest. So, maybe I should have just log predicted the princess. But the last time I went for a log predict like that, they just paid the princess to the side and my log didn't do anything. So, I kind of didn't want to go for that. And I had to block the bridge with the Inferno Tower here because the, like... Knight would have taken out all the dagger duchess shots and then I couldn't really have defended his goblin barrel because I really have a completely awkward cycle to defend that and knowing like or going for the inferno tower high like that I know that he can't really get any offense going and he also didn't have the princess in cycle so he just has to go for the rocket which I can do myself also so okay yeah very nice princess catch right there I don't know why he would okay wait what is he doing that's horrible like I mean he has to get something going now because I'm already up a lot of damage and we are in a mirror matchup right so he has to like make a good play to come back the damage that I'm ahead but that's not gonna like happen like that. I'll go for my goblin barrel electro spirit and skeletons right here. It's fine for me um, to defend like that because I know I'm gonna take a few hits but he has more damage on the left side anyways right so it's fine for me to take a little bit of damage on the right and right now I just know that I have to make sure I always kind of like predict his princesses and then I'm gonna be looking good because he's never really gonna get damage with the goblin barrel and unless I completely like mess up my cycle and he has a knight down tanking um, for my dagger duchess tower and I still somehow don't have the log back in cycle that's like the only way he could get goblin barrel damage but that's just not gonna happen if I play well or just decent would be enough to be honest so I'll go for the rocket right here he goes for the princess that's gonna get one shot but that's fine by me right because I need two more rockets he needs four more rockets two more rockets is not enough I will need like one more log because two rockets do exactly I think 1082 yeah 1082 should like should it be because one does 541 I think so yeah two is like yeah 1082 so okay that's not gonna hit the tower yeah that's on the princess so 
I just need to play one more log and one more rocket onto the tower and I can just go for my princess right here to make sure like the barrel doesn't do anything and yeah that's gonna be GG's. I have to rocket and log and nothing you can do against this because yeah my princess is block princess is blocking the left lane also so GG's right here. Pretty dominant win in the mirror matchup I would say so GG's to Kalyan or Selyan and I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against Patron and man there's so many people called, called Patron on top ladder. Like I can already think of three that are called Patron and th that's like this guy right here and Jorge Lewis who has like a top one finish with Giant Graveyard also has an account that's called Patron and then there's Arden Toas who also has an account called like that so yeah there's three people at top ladder always running that name so it's always kind of confusing who you're facing and I know that this guy is playing Giant Graveyard just like um, Jorge Lewis El is also like the other Giant Graveyard player that is called Patron so yeah you never really know who you're facing unless you completely remember what their names is like like their names are a little bit different but all of them have Patron in their names so I never can really remember who I'm playing against so okay he has the wizard L so that's interesting I I can't remember him having the wizard so maybe he like switched up his deck a little bit but I'm still expecting giant graveyard from him so he goes for the night witch in the back I'm just gonna be logging that to be honest and if he goes for the giant I have my inferno tower and my electro spirit to clean up the bed so okay he goes for the inferno tower I'll go for the electro spirit right now and that should clean up everything quite nicely okay he's giving me the fire goblin emote so yeah I don't know why he's giving me that I guess he's not too happy with seeing the inferno tower because inferno tower is quite a nice counter against the giant to be honest if they don't have like the zap zap or anything like that and even if they have the zap I feel like inferno tower is still very good against the giant because yeah even when they zap it inferno tower does a pretty good job against the giant and distracts it for a long time and sometimes even kills it so even when they zap so look at the evil skeletons no way wait how did they die bro i was i was thinking they would die to the bats and then they survived and i thought they would go on tower but then they died that was like so weird because first i thought they died then they survived and i thought they'd take the tower but then they died again <laughs> so that's like kind of crazy the evil skellies are re really weird to be honest i still think they are like in the top four of the all of the evolutions to be honest even though they got quite a lot of nerfs but yeah they're still completely broken because they are one elixir and they can like kill huge pushes just for one elixir they like die a lot of more of the times when you play them unlike they used to like before they randomly survived um even they survived like spells and that doesn't happen anymore but they still get like crazy value on defense to be honest and only the evil tesla um evil wizard and what is the other evil i forgot that's better than the that is better than the man yeah the evil knight right yeah the evil knight the evil wizard and the evil tesla are the only evils that are better than the evil skeletons to be honest so evil skeletons could get like another nerf after the next balance changes they like first need to make sure they nerf the other evils and the evil tesla and evil knight are both getting nerfed only the evil wizard is not getting nerfed which i really don't understand but i kind of get it because they just released it like recently and they still want to make more money off of the evil wizard which kind of makes sense so they're not nerfing it yet and like supercell is kind of smart to be honest because they are about to release a new champion and little prince has been completely broken since like the release of the little prince and now that they are finally bringing like a new champion to the game or not finally bringing a new champion now that they are bringing a new champion they are finally nerfing the little prince so like their thought process behind that is probably like okay when we nerf the little prince then the little prince might not need might not be as broken as the new champion so the people will buy the new champion because it might be better than the little prince after the little prince nerf so yeah supercell just trying to make the most amount of money which I completely understand right but you shouldn't really like make that f at the cost of cards completely being broken and dominating the meta and people being forced to buy them if they want to perform on top ladder like there's a thousand ways they could add things to make money 
especially like skins i don't really know why they never add skins into the game they could make like such nice skins which don't really give you advantage over other players in the game but they never really do that like we have um star level skins in the game right but you can't really buy them or anything so supercell is not really making any money out of that they prefer to like release evolutions and broken towers to make money i guess that's a good cash grab for them but i really feel like they should be doing other stuff and then they would be even making more money but but i guess they know what they're doing or they don't because yeah they have been getting a lot of hate and sorry for not commentating too much about the gameplay at the end right here i didn't really need to focus up because i have a very good matchup so ggs and i'll see you guys in the next game we in the final game for today against Yuso14 and this guy is a little bit of a crazy man to be honest. Um, nothing like negative, I really like this guy, but he's just playing like very crazy sparky decks all the time. So I'm wondering what variation he's playing right here. Could still be just like be normal giant from him, but I always see him play sparky. So I'm really expecting sparky from him and also very impressive um, for him to be that high. If he's playing sparky because there's so much like rocket cycle in the current meta with like all of the princess rocket cycle decks and expo is quite popular also and there's quite a bit log bait also with the rocket like i'm playing right here so yeah all of those decks completely hard counter sparky i would say so pretty impressive how he gets like um so high in ladder even though he's getting hard countered quite a lot so that's a very nice princess right here to be honest because my inferno tower is still alive and like princess plus skeletons is for elixir and the skelly king is also for elixir but i got two princess shots so i basically got two princess shots for zero elixir and also i managed to or i managed to yeah i managed to cycle to my evo skeletons faster with that because i just played them for the skelly king right so not only did i get yeah two princess shots for free i also managed to cycle to my evo skeletons faster which is nice so yeah always very important to know when you should be going for the princess and all that so okay he's going very aggressive right here he doesn't really have any elixir he could pop the ability yeah but that really wouldn't be too great because look at my hand i have my evo knight evo skeleton so i don't think like yeah he gets anything going and also he could be in trouble right here because he doesn't have a lot of elixir right he kind of has to spell the evil skeletons and he still doesn't have a lot of elixir so gonna be giving him the good game he goes for a good evil knight pretty interesting that he went for that on the right side because he still needs to fend to defend the princess on the left right so i'll go for my inferno tower because i know that's gonna snipe the evil knight and also like help defend whatever he puts to defend my princess and he doesn't have enough elixir to go in for the giant quite yet so he can't get any good offense going so i'm kind of chilling right here to be honest i'll just go for my skeletons to cycle them and make sure like he doesn't get any chip onto my tower and i can just rocket that to be honest i know he might go sparky in the back now but my cycle is so quick that if he goes for the sparky in the back like he did then once the sparky reaches the bridge i will already have my next rocket so he can never really go for a giant in front of the sparky because he's just gonna give me huge rocket value if he does that so but also if he doesn't go for anything in front of the sparky i can just counter it for like three elixir like i do here so that, that's gonna be like a very clean um defense right here and nice elixir trade for me and like it's very annoying for him to deal with my princesses i feel like because i always have one princess down and he can never like just make a big push and ignore everything because then my princess is gonna be like my princesses are gonna be stacking and after his offense he's gonna ha have like a lot of trouble defending just like that one time where he just went very aggressive with the evil wizard skeleton abil skeleton king ability and he almost lost his tower to the evil knight and evil skeleton so he's gonna be giving me the good game right here he knows that he can't come this back from this position so yeah very clean game from me here nothing he could really do in that position so ggs right here I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next video tomorrow. Bye!